The Princess of Miracles Once upon a time in a faraway land, there lived a young princess named Sabrina. She was the daughter of a powerful king and queen and was beloved by all who knew her. Sabrina was a kind and gentle soul who could often be found in the gardens tending to her flowers or in the library reading a book. But despite her peaceful nature, she wasn't content with her life. She wanted to experience more of the world, to explore new places, and to have her own adventures. So on her 18th birthday, the princess set out on an adventure. She packed her things and rode off on her beloved white horse, Diamond. She traveled to distant lands and encountered many different people. She was welcomed in each place she went, and she was able to learn a great deal about the cultures and customs of the different countries. One day, Sabrina came across a mysterious castle in a faraway land. She was intrigued by the castle and decided to explore it. As she ventured into the castle, she noticed that it was empty and abandoned. She wondered who could have lived there and why they had left. As she continued to explore, she noticed a large door at the end of a long hallway. She opened the door and found herself in a large room filled with ancient books and artifacts. In the center of the room was a large stone table with a book resting on top. The book was an ancient spell book full of powerful magic. Sabrina knew that this book could offer her the power and knowledge she desired. She eagerly read through the book and learned many things, but she also realized that the power of the spells was not to be taken lightly. The next day, Sabrina returned to the castle and continued to explore. As she ventured deeper into the castle, she came across a secret passageway. She followed the passageway and eventually found herself in a hidden chamber. Inside the chamber, she discovered a large, ornate mirror. When she looked into the mirror, Sabrina was shocked to find her own reflection staring back at her. She realized that this was no ordinary mirror, but a magical one. She slowly began to understand the power of the mirror and how it could be used for good or for evil. Sabrina decided to use the power of the mirror for good. She used the magic of the mirror to grant wishes to those in need. Soon, word of her kindness spread throughout the kingdom, and people began to flock to the castle seeking her help. Sabrina used the power of the mirror to help people in need. She granted wishes, provided food and shelter, and even healed the sick. The people of the kingdom were so thankful for her kindness and generosity that they began to call her the Princess of Miracles. Sabrina continued to use the power of the mirror for good, and eventually the people of the kingdom declared her the official ruler of the land. As ruler, Sabrina was able to bring peace and prosperity to the kingdom, and she was beloved by all who knew her. The people of the kingdom lived happily for many years under Sabrina's rule, and her kindness and generosity were remembered and cherished for generations to come. And so, Sabrina's story serves as a reminder that even the smallest act of kindness can have a lasting impact.